Answers time. Let's do it. Yeah, two years later. All right. This isn't late at all. We got like 19, 20, 20-ish questions. I don't know. First question. I had golden grams for breakfast. And for my question, when will you cut your hair? I don't know when I cut my hair when you posted that, but I get it cut every month or so, maybe five weeks, usually a month. Typical for like any guy, I think. Probably do for one in like a week or so. Um, do you love cereal? Hmm, let's ask a serious one. How long have you been playing Guitar Hero Rock Band? Uh, I actually haven't had a bowl of cereal since like spring, so I probably don't love it as much as I used to. But I've been playing since 2 came out, so that was like late 06, I think. And, um, uh, it's your typical story. You always hear from people. They play it at a friend's house, and they end up getting it for themselves, and the rest is history. What's your name? My name is Martin, M-A-R-T-I-N. You can address me as Martin if you want on Twitter, YouTube, whatever. I, I really don't care anymore. I used to keep it secret because just to keep it a mystery, is that was kind of cool, but I don't really care anymore. Marry me. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, why did I grab my chest? I should have just grabbed my heart. Yeah, it's weird. Um, I also want to know when you'll cut your hair, but since that's been asked, what music do you like? You know, it's um, lately I've been listening for the past five months, I've been listening to pretty much nothing but scenes from a memory and mainstream stuff. Literally all I've been listening to is just Dream Theater and the radio. Yeah. Dream Theater is not even like one of my favorite bands, but I really, really, really like Scenes from a Memory because I just discovered it this year. So yeah, it's a really, really good album. What cool woman band of C's are you working on? Well, probably already seen them by now, but uh, currently, currently, Nothing in particular, I'm sorry to say. I, I was working on BYOB over the summer, but drums were being a fucking bitch, and I just... To be fair, I to be honest, I didn't really grind it for that long, but I just kind of... I really don't like the ending of that song. It seems like a huge, huge choke point. So, uh, I kind of put it, pushed it off to the side for a little bit, and... Uh, I, I may go for it again someday, I'm not sure, we'll see. Because guitar is a bitch on that song. Too. Guitar is harder than bass on that song, in my opinion. I really don't like that song. But that'd be a pretty decent woman band. Uh, how did you come up with the nickname Pars Revenge? It's not really an interesting story, but... I was playing golf in high school. Or I was trying to make the golf team, so I was taking a bunch of lesson, lessons. And I played Melee at a friend's house one day. And uh, the nicknames that appear over the characters, you can only put in four letters or digits. And I just thought of a name off the top of my head. I thought of, like I was in a golf state of mind, like I said, so I thought of the t golf term par. And I just added a Z at the end just to be silly because I was a dumbass kid when I was young. And the revenge part, I have no I have no idea where the revenge part came from. I thought about this for like a half hour. And I have absolutely no idea where revenge came from. Um, so what is your favorite cereal? I really, really like uh blueberry muffin mini wheats. Those are the bomb. Those are so good. That was literally like one of the last bowls of cereal I had this year. And I would definitely have some more. Like I said, I don't hate cereal. I just haven't had it in a while. By coincidence, I guess. Yeah. Where the where where the bastard did the epic mustache go? Was it fake? Was it all a lie? I demand you grow it back this instant. Otherwise, you're so grounded. Oh, I love reading that question. Um, I mean, I got this right here. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Yeah. Portable and I can just fit it right in my pocket. But uh, I used to rock the mustache like all throughout high school. It wasn't because I liked it. 
looking back on it, I would have never done that. I would have shaved every day like you're supposed to, but back then I was just I was too lazy to shave. I literally only shaved like twice senior year and that's it. And uh you know, it's like the guys uh they kind of, they kind of liked it more than they hated it and the girls they kind of hated it more than they liked it. And then when the, the two days that I did shave it off, like the guy, girls thought I looked a lot cuter and the guys are like, "Dude, you shaved off your manhood and stuff." So and I started shaving, well, you guys see it, saw it through my videos, that I started shaving regular, regularly, probably around the time I posted this um, questions video. How did you get to be real good at Guitar Hero vocals? Well, there's a little thing in the game called a practice mode, and uh, it's very, very, very handy. <laughs> But no, serious. But no, seriously, practice mode. It's um, practice makes perfect, or close to perfect. And practice is how all the champions of guitar vocals have been born from. I you know I started with World Tour. I rented it, and I hated the vocal engine there, and I just never touched it again until um probably. I think I rented Smash Hits when that came out, and I played that, and it's kind of the same effect. Then Guitar Hero 5 came out, and I didn't really like the engine too much either, but I liked it a lot more than World Tour engine, so I stuck with that for a while. And then I decided to rent Band Hero. I really hated Band Hero from a first impression. I was like the worst set list for any Guitar Hero game ever. But goddamn was I wrong, because that came that became... Probably my favorite Guitar Hero game. Maybe not right now because obviously I've been completely... I've completely driven that game into the ground with all the work I've done from it. But it was definitely my favorite game back in the day. And I think the pivotal moment when I realized I could actually get good FCs was when I uh, got back again from Band Hero FC. I was I used to think that was such a hard ass song and I was just busting my ass trying to learn it. it took me forever and then when I finally got it I realized if I just keep this mindset and I just apply it to all these other songs so each song one by one I could do even more good things like this and lo and behold I ended up getting the full the full game FC and the rest is, you can see the rest, it's been all documented through my YouTube channels. And, uh, yeah. Uh, it also, um, you really have to be, you really have to know what's coming up ahead of time, really. You know, just really know the songs. When are you going to challenge me on DJ Hero 2? DJ Hero 2. Oh, that game. That game. I mean, at the end of the day, I do love the game. I still think it's a pretty good game. But, um, you know, I, I think I'm just like in that old school mindset. I'm an old school DJ Heroer. And um, stuff like the engine I do not like in DJ Hero 2. The new feat, the new uh, gameplay features uh, online. I used to, I used to love freaking DJ Hero One online battles. They're so simple, but that was the good thing about it that they were, they were simple. None of this bullshit that you needed in two. I, that's that's a little too harsh to say. Not all of it in two is is bullshit. The multiplayer features, but you know they added they added a little bit too much. It was too close for comfort for like the competitive people and. I said, one competitively, oh, um, online. It was so much fun. Oh man, the old school DJ Hero players back then, freaking uh, S Laughter on PSN. If you know what S Laughter is, you are, yeah, that was the dude back in the day, in my opinion. And um, Master Baller, Anubis, um, what's the other guy's name? Fedora, even M Dog before he got a little crazy. And, uh, yeah, those, I really like the old school days of DJ Hero. But, uh, this goes to anyone. You can always challenge me, but I'm, you're probably going to win, obviously, because I have not touched the game 
the turntable anyways since like May because the new turntable I got actually ended up crapping out on me and it over taps it um, drops taps it's just horrible I would never use that I'm if you battle me I'm gonna use my original one which is shit to begin with but the new one is even worse now I think so and you're probably gonna win so <laughs> what's the point uh, why are you so awesome I don't know I just I I admit awesome rays from me wherever I go it's just 